My name is DJ Jackmaster and you're watching Toasted. Hey, welcome to Exit. Have you been here before actually? I have been here before two, I think three years ago. I closed the the dance arena, dance arena, dance stage yeah, yeah, yeah. with my friend One Man. No shit. Yeah, that was cool, but it was a very late night. I think it went on <laughs> till like eight in the morning or something. It's so weird, this festival goes on like until nine or something. I mean, just now it's 20 past 12 and I, I just I just got out of my bed. I went for a nice long nap, had a nice steak, went for a nap. Uh, so I'm fully, fully refreshed. Well, you were you used to something. I saw this great uh, video of you on uh, Resident Advisor for yeah. Originals. You climbing buildings and yeah. you, you used to be a graffiti writer, right? Yeah, I used to write graffiti when I was younger. And I actually got um, I got sacked from a few jobs because I you would stay up all night painting, and um, and then I would uh, not turn up for work the next day because I was so tired. <laughs> so I lost a few jobs from it, but um, I was an interesting period in my life. Life was much simpler then. You know, you got caught spray painting, and you got you got a slap on the wrist by the police. That was your biggest worry in life. Now you know I'm 30 years old. I have to worry about women and all that kind of shit. You don't worry about women, man. Ah, they worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> I love the part where you start grabbing like the the ledge of the wall and you yeah, hit the greasy hand. It's got all the vandal grease, and I'm wearing like I'm on camera, so I'm wearing like my best clothes, my expensive jeans, and my nice shirt. And I'm like, where did I wipe this? So I'm wiping it on the wall. But yeah, it was a, that was a, that was a fun time for sure. Right? Hey, back to the music. Uh, you just released uh, DJ Kicks, right? That came out today. Yeah. I didn't even know they were still around. I mean, in, I, yeah. I'm an older guy. In my in my day and age, they were legendary. They've got, um, they've got this guy doing the A&R for DJ Kicks called Will Saul, who also has a really good label called um, House Music, and um, he's really good A&R, and he's really racking up some really talented people like not just good DJs and good musicians but people that he knows are going to compile a good mix um, last ones were by Dame Funk and Moody Man and I've seen some of the artists that are coming up um, and he's got some really really cool stuff so anyone who's um, not familiar or used to be familiar with the series should 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 check it out it wasn't easy to produce the thing though it cost you like three laptops oh, what happened man, yeah well I lost one laptop during during the process then one was stolen once I'd started the CD and then once I finished the CD my mate he was drunk and he fell on my laptop and he's a big guy like not a fat guy but he's really tall and he fried the motherboard on the computer so then I'd had none of the tracks that I'd put on the mix and I had uh, I didn't even have the mix so I had to contact the label and get me to send everything again because I lost everything it was one day before I moved to Ibiza and I have all my music backed up to the cloud but I couldn't download it all in time, so course, I had to go to Ibiza with no music. Oh, basically, I've got really bad luck with um, with like technology, like and especially especially Apple. Like all my computers break, my internet never works. I think in a past life I must have like I must have slept with Steve Jobs' ex girlfriend or something, and now he's like haunting me from the grave or something because he, that guy does not like me. Man. <laughs> hey, Mike Dunn made the mix. I uh, love Mike Dunn. It's yeah. an old school guy. Um, yeah, he's got what a Jack in the mix. Yeah, um, the kind of the, I'm really influenced by Detroit and Chicago, and um, that's where you got your name, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. When I went into talking of the job that I lost, that was in a record shop, right? But as soon as I walked into the record shop and I was called Jack, they nicknamed me Jackmaster. Um, and you got paid in records, right? That's yeah, the story. Did, um, you could have four pounds an hour, or you could have one record an hour. And to buy an import record would be seven pounds fifty. So we'd always take a record, and we'd, we'd we'd never be able to work enough hours to get all the records we wanted because we were young guys just getting into techno, and we were so in incredibly um, obsessed with the with the music scene that now, you know. Name me I mean, any favorite techno artists or, or records um, you have. Favorites are probably I mean, my number one fa favorite artist ever is Prince, and then electronically speaking, it's like Underground Resistance. Model 500, um, Drexia, mostly the Detroit stuff it comes up highest on my list always, but I'm a real Chicago guy as well. I love Chicago house. Don't you think it's weird that like these guys built the whole scene and they don't get around, they don't, they don't yeah, play a lot I mean, anymore and other people just will sort of steal their glory, yeah. maybe it's too much, but. I think there's definitely, there was definitely a period in, um, in that music um, and that culture where um, people were really wary of Europe and the UK because they created this culture and, and in a lot of ways Europe and UK stole it and, and bastardised it. They kind of um, 
they really they simplified it and they made it. They, they took a lot of the soul out of it. You know, there's a period in the '90s where techno became boom, 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 and it, it kind of lost its soul a little bit. So I think, um, I think the forefathers from Detroit and Chicago had a lot of right to be skeptical of of uh, of the scenes over here. But thankfully, you know, nowadays it's it's, a, it's the, the, the music from these legends is a lot more accessible. You know, like thanks to festivals like this and all over Europe every weekend this is amazing stuff going on in techno and house scene. Hey, last question. Uh, yeah. <laughs> of course I went through your social media. This is one that I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> you went to a sex shop in Dublin, you got the number one rated masturbator by the American Pumpers Association. Yeah, is it any good? It's called the Jackmaster. <laughs> hey, I I I'm not used to it. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> is it any good? Yeah, it's alright if I'd better. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, thanks so much for your Thank time. You, man.